Let me introduce to you, Barney. I don't get it. Having a dog ties you down. How do you go on a spontaneous weekend away? Well, it's easy. Well, you work all day, you come home tired, and then you have to take it for a walk. Yes. Yeah, and fun. then you have to pick up after it. You're actually a slave to the little flea bag. Hey. I literally see people walking behind their dogs carrying bags of poo. What's with that? So what do you really think? Hey? Look at him. Who's Harry? Well, Harry's my new... You know what, actually, it's none of your business. Hi, you've called Mel, leave a message and I'll get back to you. Hi Mel, it's me again. Please call me back. How can I fix this if she won't even talk to me? Yeah, lemon and ginger tea, please. <gasps> Barney, whoa, right on time for rehearsals. Hey, mate. Hi. I think he's really excited to star in your play. Well, of course he is. He's born for the theatre. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing him. That's OK. Hey, have you seen Mel? She won't return any of my calls. No, sorry, but I've been too busy with rehearsals. Of course, I'd better let you guys get back to it. All right, mate, have fun, and remember, acting is reacting. See you. Come on, Barney, we're going to work on your allocution. Let's go. here breeds and trains dogs for both Border Force and a number of other programs around the world. So if you see a dog out there working at one of the airports, it's come from here. We've been breeding our own dogs since 1993. We went with Labradors as a dog of choice uh, through a study that was done with uh, Melbourne University. Um, just a very all-round capable dog for detection work and uh, very user-friendly with the general public. <laughs> walking away. Yes. Yay! When they're first born for the first three weeks, they're in the whelp area. Yep. Um, then they move over to the nursery for three to nine weeks of age, and that's where we do a lot of our development, junior development. So that's exposing them to different surfaces, sounds, um, different experiences, so metal stairs, moving surfaces, um, loud noises, so that they're not frightened by anything when they go out into the real world. So the white towel is their reward. Um, they get that from a very early age, so when they're little puppies, we acclimatise them to it, um, and this becomes their ultimate toy. So when they're out in the operational environment, they are thinking that they're searching for this towel and getting this great game at the end once they find their target odour. Um, then at nine weeks of age, they go out to a foster care of family. Um, and in that environment, the foster carers take them out to all different places to socialise them and give them environmental conditioning. <laughs> So we use Labradors because they're um, unobtrusive, so when they search they're not offensive to people. Um, they're non-discriminatory, so they don't care where you come from, who you are, your age or your gender. Um, and they're great for broad screening, so they can search masses of freight or people that can be done much quicker than people can search them. So they can work for long periods of time to find whatever target odour we, uh, we ask them to. We uh, train them to detect a number of different target odours from uh, drugs through to currency, firearms, explosives and tobacco. A vast array of areas they work in. So obviously the airport is a, a public area that everyone sees them in, but mail centres, freight, freight environments, uh, waterfront, uh, premise searches, uh, supporting local and, and uh, federal police agencies. So we, the dogs are very robust at being able to work in a number of different environments. So where are we off to now? So we're going to go down the back of the facility to okay. look at a training exercise in our demonstration mm -hmm. hall. How do I get that job? Sorry, excuse me. Okay, Steve, what we've got here is a simulated freight environment. Uh, we've set up one of our training okay. exercises in this woven basket with a target odour in it. Uh, hopefully Gunther will come in, search <laughs> throughout the freight environment. When he locates the uh, odour, He'll sit down, that's his response, and Lee will reward him with a towel. Oh, 
That's amazing. Uh, great result, Steve. He's uh, a <laughs> couple of weeks away from working in the operational environment. And uh, in the last year alone, we've had over 2,000 detections of illegal imports, exports, drugs, currency, firearms, tobacco. And it's just a fantastic result. We're having a great deal of success at the moment. Yeah. Good boy. What a... So, Amy, what are we doing here? So we're going to do a hunt assessment with one of our pups. OK. What does that involve? So what we do <laughs> is hide a dummy. So we pretend to hide the dummy in some of the pots and then we leave it in the second last pot and see if the pup can find it. Is this something I can do? You can have a go at it if you'd like to. All right. Oh. Which one? Which one? Which one? She's, she's got this. I reckon she's all over it. I'm going to fake the last one to put her off and then we're in. Good girl, yes! Good girl, yes! Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, easy. Oh, yes! Good girl! Oh. So, Steve, we've got a memorial here for uh, Raz. Raz was killed in action back in 2007. He was bred by us and worked uh, with the army. He was killed in Afghanistan. Mm. And we've created a rose garden here as a, a memorial for dogs that have passed on, working dogs, foster care dogs, and, and an opportunity for them to spread the ashes here. Wow, so you guys really do take care of these dogs for their entire life. Yeah, almost. yeah. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's been an absolute right. pleasure. You're no both worries, absolute Steve. superstars. No worries, thank you. Bunny, I really need you to be on your best behaviour today. We're going to meet one of the top dogs at Dogs Victoria. Dogs Victoria is the peak organisation for dogs in, in this state. It's founded in 1877. So there is um, a, an organisation in each state. We're Dogs Victoria, so of course there's Dogs Tasmania, Dogs New South Wales. Most weekends you'll definitely find some event here at the State Dog Centre, but there's many events, shows, uh, obedience, agility in, in rural Victoria. There's a confirmation dog shown, which is for the, the pedigree dog, where dogs are judged against the standard. There's agility, there's fly ball, there's uh, dances with dogs, there's obedience, there's lure coursing. But it's really great to bring your dog out because a dog that sits at home probably is not stimulated. So it's great to involve yourself um, and your dog in activities because they get to come and see other dogs. It's stimulating for them. And also um, you get to spend a bit more time with your dog, which is probably the best bit. The grounds here are absolutely fantastic. Would be the biggest um, facility for dogs in Australia, actually. You know, we have a dog museum, which is probably the largest collection of, of dog art. It's probably the biggest dog library of all things to do with dogs here as well. Huge areas to exercise your dogs. There's off-lead areas. There's huge grassy areas for, for obedience and, and for agility, those kind of things. Huge indoor um, exhibition spaces. This wouldn't just be beneficial to the dog. No, you meet like-minded people, people that um, love dogs like you, you know, like you do. Uh, you get to yeah, make friends, make connections with people. I think it benefits the people just as much as the dogs, so it's a win-win for everyone. It doesn't matter who you are, how old your dog is, what you're into, there's definitely an event here for, for you for Dogs Victoria. The thing that we all have in common is that we love dogs and we want to see you know, happy, healthy dogs that are enjoying life. Yeah. The Vets Love Pets online store is a fun and convenient way to purchase all of your pet's needs at great prices. For orders over $49, shipping is free, Australia-wide. There's a huge range to choose from, and for a limited time, if you enter the discount code BARNEY, you receive a 20% discount on Barney's favourite products. Don't delay. Visit vetslovepets.com.au and enter the discount code BARNEY, and remember, love your pets. Which one do you like, Barney? Good choice. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Leap of Faith. You are third row on the left. Thanks. Enjoy. Hi, you are front row in the middle. Enjoy the show. Hi, Mel. 
sorry, do I know you? No, I bet the other day I was Front row no, I was in the middle. Enjoy. I am the theatre critic. You are up the back on the left. Typical. Hi. It's a good house tonight. This is going to be great. Come on, Barney, it's your five minute call. travellers and welcome to Old Town in the year of our Lord 1858 and with your permission I would like to introduce myself. He definitely has my permission. My name is Chris but the good people of Old Town call me Chris the Wise. Our story begins with Simon the town crier who has run out of stories to tell. <laughs> oh, this is about you. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, shit. And of a fair maiden, Melanie, whose love for Simon continues unrequited. It's about us. Oh, shit. Chris the Generous. Will we be paying for drinks again? Why, but of course. <laughs> so, Chris the Wise, what should I do about this curse that has befallen upon me? Yes, I have thought long and hard upon your problem, simple Simon. Simon, it's just Simon. You and don't I need believe to... I have come up with a solution. You should get a dog. Yes! <gasps> of course. That's it. That's it, a dog. Oh, Chris the Wise, you are so wise. I shall go forth now and get me a dog. That was very good advice. Chris the Handsome, why would you tell him to get a dog? Have you not heard of rabies? <gasps> and what of their poo? Have we not enough poo in Old Town already? I knew I didn't like her. Behold, Barney, the greatest dog ever to we in... The greatest dog ever to we in Old Town. From this day forth, Barney and I shall go forth and regale the good people of Old Town with our adventures, verily. I think if this is a stupid idea. <laughs> and a stupid dog. <gasps> what did she just say? <laughs> How can you go on a picnic with a flea bag? <laughs> and where will you, would you find food for this mutt? From the hills? see that this is just a dramatic device to add conflict. Sit down in front. She'll come around in the end. Oh, what would you know? It's called character arc. Hello? You know what? I bet that she'll get a dog by the end of the play. Oh, good on you. Spoiler alert. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Oh, God, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Only a play. I bet you're a cat owner. For many moons, Steve, Simon, and Barney travelled around Old Town and went on many adventures together. Barney and I go on so many adventures together. Barney has filled Simon's heart with joy. Oh, Barney, you have filled my heart with joy. But. There is still something missing in Simon's life. There is still something missing in my life. Chris, there is still something missing in my life. Yes, I know. <clears throat> you should ask Melanie out on a date. Melanie, can I speak with you? 
Oh, not now, Simon. I have to go meet Harry. Harry? Who's Harry? The most handsome boy in Old Town. <gasps> Bye! <gasps> you can't trust a dog hater. Chris the Wise, more like Chris the Stupid. <gasps> You temper your tongue, good sir, or I shall introduce you to my long sword. I knew he'd have a long sword. Do your worst, Chris the Feeble. I love her, and now, because of you, she's with Harry. <laughs> It's Barney's fault. She hates dogs. Chris! Sorry. I'm so sorry, Steve. Um, I'm not feeling well. I have to go. Okay, I'll, I'll drive you home. No, 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 stay. Um, Apologise to Chris for me. I'll see you tomorrow at the barbecue, yeah? Of course. I'm really sorry. I bet she's gone home to feed her cat. Greetings, Christopher, Baron of the Barbecue, Master of the Meats, and Sorcerer of the Sauces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very funny, Steve, the sarcastic. Oh, that hurts, mate. Oh. That hurts so much that I couldn't possibly give you the very first published review of Leap of Faith. Did I say Steve the sarcastic? I'm sorry. I mean, I mean Steve the, the supermodel. <laughs> what does it say? I, I don't know. I thought you should be the first one to read it. So, read it. Oh no, I'm too nervous. You have to read it for me. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Just, well, well the, the heading is A Star is Born. Oh, that's good, that's very good. The Newtown Player's presentation of Chris Armfield's Leap of Faith through the world of amateur theatre, a giant leap forward. Oh, that's good, that's very good. Right. Set in the 1800s, the plot explores the positive effects of owning a dog. And while this reviewer, and owner of eight cats, found this to be overly stated, the audience clearly enjoyed it. <laughs> well, that's interesting. No, 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 the, the next bit is the interesting bit. Yeah, I think you may be right. And while the supporting cast was adequate, the performer, who the title of this review refers to, is Barney. What? Give me that. Barney's performance was nuanced with impeccable comic timing, and he's clearly destined for greater things. <laughs> Rotten cat owner. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hey, Mel. Jinking rotten cat owner. I'd like to introduce you to Harry. Oh. <laughs> oh, Harry, I can't tell you how nice it is to meet you. See, what kind of dog is that? Uh, I think that's an Aussie Shepherd. See, that's a real dog, you know? Like, that's a working dog. Hey, that one's awesome. Yeah, I think that's an Australian Shepherd. That's the same one we saw at Harding. Yeah, well, they're obviously quite intelligent dogs. Dirty, stinking, rotten cat owner. Mel, I've loved you since the first moment that I ever met you. In my eyes, you're perfect, even more so now that you have a dog. I, I can't stop thinking about you, and I can't think of a reason why we shouldn't be together. There, I said it. It wasn't that hard. Tom Hanks, like a baby. Nice. Tom Hanks, look at you, mangy, flea ridden, dirty, stinking, rotten cat owner.
Stefani came into my life just over 12 months ago. I knew it would be fun to train and look after a dog, but what I didn't know was how much I'd learn from him. Those lessons are too numerous to list here, but I'll give you my top five. Be joyful. Focus on what's good in your life. You'll be surprised how much happier you and the people around you will be. Don't judge. We are pack animals and everyone in our pack has an equally important role to play. It's the simple things in life that make us happy. All Barney needs is a tennis ball and he's in heaven. Go for a walk every day. It's good for your mind and body. And if you see something you want, run after it as fast as you can. Hey, I made you a coffee. Aw, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to watch? Um, I was thinking we could probably watch The Princess Bride. That's my favourite film. I know. How do you know? Research, Mel. Research. <laughs> oh, Bonnie! Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs>